Welcome to the Brain Code Portal Introduction and Privacy Security Guidelines training video. Today's training will cover an introduction to the Brain Code Portal, the tools and features on the portal, the Brain Code Privacy and Security Guidelines, including data entry prerequisites and capture tools and user accounts. Introduction to the Brain Code Portal. The BrainCode Neuroinformatics platform provides Ontario Brain Institute's integrated discovery programs with a centralized informatic platform for the collection, curation, analysis, and sharing of their study data. BrainCode is composed of multiple subsystems and data capture tools, enabling it to collect data of various modalities. All data capture tools for which you have been granted access can be accessed through the BrainCode portal. Here is the overview of the BrainCode platform. Open Clinica and REDCap are two clinical electronic data management systems on BrainCode. Both these systems are utilized for the collection of clinician-administered data. REDCap is additionally used for the collection of patient-reported outcomes. Imaging data, which includes MRIs, EEGs, MEGs, and other modalities, are managed using the spread XNAT system. LabKey is utilized in the management of molecular data collected by IDPs. The subject registry is a centralized registry of all participants in the programs for which data exists in any of the subsystems I have outlined earlier. The subject registry also allows for the collection of encrypted health card numbers. No raw health card information is ever stored on brain code. This functionality enables researchers to connect and integrate the data they have collected with external databases, such as hospital administrative data collected by the Institute of Clinical and Evaluative Sciences via the encrypted health card number. New participants are added to the subject registry either through a reporter from each of the subsystems or enter directly. Subject IDs enable integration between different types of data. Tools and features of the BrainCode portal. Along with access to data capture tools, the BrainCode portal allows you to view open data releases via dashboards. Within the dashboard, you can select data cuts for which you are interested in, and you can even select request data to request the data cut. BrainCode provides customizable study dashboards to provide a visual overview of your study and showcase key variables to help manage your study. Another useful tool within the BrainCode portal is the file repository, which allows researchers to upload or gain access to files required within the study. Another feature of the BrainCode portal is the Forms tab. This tab allows you to have access to forms such as data access request forms or account access request forms. Introduction and Overview to BrainCode Privacy and Security Guidelines The guidelines and procedures outlined are the Ontario Brain Institute's guiding principles related to the upload or transfer of research data to BrainCode. Please also refer to your own institutional guidelines regarding privacy and security related to data management. OBI is recognized as a Privacy by Design Ambassador in virtue of its extensive informatics governance framework privacy and security practices, and technologies related to data management on brain code. This designation refers to the mitigation of privacy and security risks through a proactive and preventative approach to research data management by embedding privacy and security measures into the design of its systems and practices. A number of documents related to privacy and brain code are available on the brain code website, including the informatics governance policies and security policies, as well as information included in the Getting Started and Frequently Asked Questions pages. Abiding by these policies and procedures in relation to data upload on brain code is essential to ensure the quality of the data, to enable data sharing and analysis, and ultimately to maximize the value of research. As we talk about security and privacy policies, we should go over a couple definitions. PHI refers to personal health information. This includes participant names, health card numbers, their date of birth, email addresses, postal codes, telephone numbers, medical records, and demographic information. 
The REB stands for Research Ethics Board. Research Ethics Review is a process of initial and ongoing review and monitoring of research involving human participants to ensure ethical acceptability. Raincode Privacy and Security Guidelines Data Entry Prerequisites Data Entry Prerequisites While OBI takes many precautions to ensure that unapproved PHI is not entered into Braincode database, it is ultimately the responsibility of researchers to ensure that data entered or transferred to Braincode abides by the REB-approved participant informed consent forms of their respective institution. Please ensure you only enter data that participants and REBs approve to input on brain code. Non-adherence to informed consent and institutional REB authorizations regarding PHI entry is a violation of participant privacy and may be reported as a formal security and privacy incident. OBI has developed generic consent language available on the governance page to add to your consent forms. This language ensures that participants are informed of their data and PHI stored on brain code, and this will ultimately benefit your study. It is imperative that participant personal information is not shared with unauthorized research personnel. Brain code privacy and security guidelines capture tools and user accounts. During data capture training, training instances of tools such as REDCap, Open Clinica, Spread LabKey, Subject Registry, or other capture tools will be deployed. However, these are not housed within the secure brain code environment. Therefore, it is important that users never enter study data into these training instances. Do not use email to transfer or share study data. Email is not secure and can be intercepted and accessed by systems and individuals during transmission. Contact help at braincode.ca if you require help transferring data to braincode when data capture tools are not an option. Study data examples that are unacceptable to email include PHI, gait, ocular, behavioral, and imaging data, and clinical assessment scores. Non-study data examples, which would be acceptable to email, include study IDs and brain code subject IDs, study titles, program names, and study sites, data upload dates, and other metadata elements. Study data should not be stored on the brain code portal's file repository. The file repository is designed to store administrative documents to help with research project management. The file repository is not designed to track or process study data for storage or sharing. This includes study data which may or may not contain PHI. Suitable brain code user accounts will be created for data read and write access by collaborators on designated data capture tools. Users should not share their username and password with another person. Details of your brain code login credentials must be kept strictly confidential. Access to brain code software requires a formal account request, validation of credentials, and training, which helps to ensure that only qualified persons may perform operations on the platform. If you are part of an OBI IDP, contact your program manager for information on how to create an account. Users should not upload data on brain code while their computer or device is connected to a public network which can be classified as an unsecured network not requiring a password or a network key for the internet access. While a secure connection is established between brain code servers and your computer device, connecting to public networks places your computer or device at an increased risk to security vulnerabilities. Users should avoid saving login credentials on personal computers or devices by default. Users should never save login credentials on a shared computer or device. This reduces the risk of unauthorized users from gaining access to brain code. Another way to reduce the risk of unauthorized users accessing brain code is by ensuring you log out of brain code associated capture tools and accounts after completing a session. Do you have any questions? If so, please feel free to contact us. For general brain code inquiries, contact help at braincode.ca. If you have any additional questions or concerns about participant data security and privacy on brain code, visit www.braincode.ca slash content slash FAQ or contact us at governance at braincode.ca. Next steps. Finish the quiz to complete the training module. 
Upon successful completion, you will receive credentials for a BrainCode Portal account. Thank you for watching today's training video.